Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about five different lesson ideas for Valentine's Day. Hi, this is the first time ever clicking on any of my videos. Welcome, my name is Jessie. I am a kindergarten through sixth grade music teacher in Arizona. And here on this channel, I love to share modern lesson ideas, uh, planning and organizational tips, and also ukulele. So I have two games, two dances, and also kind of an upper elementary activity that you can do with your students all around the theme of Valentine's Day. So the first one up is Ida Red, Ida Blue. This is a folk song uh, that a lot of people use for upper elementary and it has a very fun game with it. It goes like this. Down the road and across the street, can't get a letter but once a week. Ida Red, Ida Blue, I got stuck on Ida too. There's a few variations to it. Pick the one that you like the most. You teach that song and then you turn it into a circle game. So you're gonna have your students circle up. They're gonna be in a seated circle and you're gonna pick one person to be the mailman or male woman. And they're going to go around the circle holding these blue envelopes and red envelopes. And so whenever the song ends, I got stuck on Ida too. Whoever they are between, and they're gonna use their best judgment. They're gonna let one person pick from the red envelopes and one person pick from the blue envelopes. Inside those envelopes are going to be different ways that they can travel around the circle. Bear crawl, crab walk, speed walk, skip, uh, tiptoe. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think some other ones. And, and use your jump, leapfrog. You can use your creativity and then those students must go in opposite sides of the circle and they must travel the way that their letter said and race around the circle back to their spot. And sometimes I just explain, a lot of them get really up in an uproar when someone gets tiptoe and another person gets leapfrog that like it's just easier to do one or the other and that's just the luck of the game and it's just hilarious and it's just really fun to you know see the students try and do the different movements. Next is heel toe on the line. This is a great dance for kindergarten all the way up to second grade. It goes like this. Heel toe on the line will you be my valentine? Heel toe on the line maybe ya or maybe nine. So this is originally a German song hence the ya and nine. So you can talk about you know at the end it doesn't literally mean the number nine. This is in German it actually means no. So the dance, let's talk about, for kindergarten, I do it in a scattered formation with first and second, I do it in a circle, but we'll get to that part in just a moment. But first, the first part is this, heel, toe, on the line. So it's a heel, like they put out their heel, then toe, and then they go stamp, stamp, stamp. Heel, toe, stamp, stamp, stamp. Then they're gonna connect hands and they're going to switch places. Will you be my valentine? Then they do that part again. Heel, toe, on the line. Then maybe a or maybe nine. And when they go nine, they actually turn away from their partner, hands crossed. And they think that's hilarious. So the whole thing is heel, toe, stamp, stamp, stamp. Connect with your partner and switch places. Heel, toe, a stamp, stamp, stamp. Maybe a or maybe nine. Then for kindergarten, I actually have them in a scattered formation and they, I just play the chords on the piano or on my um, ukulele and the students go and find a new partner and, the, and the, the dance happens again. With first grade and second grade, I do have them be in a circle. And so while they're in that circle, they're going to have their partner within that. And so they'll turn and I usually just have them get into a circle and then I just say, okay, partners, partners, partners. And I just go around the circle and have the students turn in. The dance is the exact same, but at the end, when they do heel, toe, on the line, maybe a or maybe nine, when they actually turn around, they should, ideally, if we did it right, which usually takes a few times, uh, they should have a new partner that they're facing and the song happens again. Third is an activity that you can do with your upper elementary. So I think Valentine's Day is <laughs> students that are an upper elementary. Sometimes we are a little more resistant to the idea. They get caught up in the romantic love, but this is there's a great song by Bob Marley called One Love that would be so ideal to kind of take a deep dive into 
uh, during this time. So having the students listen to it, you know, talk about what kind of love is he talking about, you know, explore those themes, explore who Bob Marley is, what is reggae. And then uh, I think that there is just a great play along video on YouTube. It is for ukulele. So if you are doing ukulele and you know, know C, F and G, fantastic. You could play along to One Love um, or you could also explore playing chords on those chords on boom whackers or playing the chords on barred instruments. And so I thought that would be a great upper elementary to still do Valentine's Day, but maybe in a little more uh, a way that they might accept a little more easily. Fourth up is a dance for the older kids. Also the good old Cupid Shuffle. Uh, our 2000 millennial teachers probably are very familiar with this dance. I remember doing it at like my middle school dance. Um, but the Cupid Shuffle is really fun. It's a very popular dance and it's school appropriate. So look it up and dance along with your students. It's a line dance. It's really simple. And the last idea I have for you is this Cupid Arrows uh, Rhythm Identification Game by Amy Abbott. It's really fun. You print all these cards that of course have little hearts around them and what other ri whatever rhythm concept you're working on. And then the students get into small groups. They have those you know four or five cards out in front of them and they each get a Nerf dart, which they really love, you know, like with the suction um, kind of thing at the end. And so what they'll do is they'll have a student uh, say one of the rhythms and then they will all race <laughs> to suction or Nerf dart to the right one, keep its arrow and pick it up. And then that person gets to keep it and they keep going until whoever has the most and they are the winner. So those are my really quick lesson ideas for Valentine's Day. All of these lessons and the you know links and sources that I found them from will be linked down below in a blog post. And if you're looking for more ideas, I actually have a whole nother video of a bunch of other Valentine's Day idea <laughs> lessons for you. I'll link it up in the cards below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.